So paper number three, GCSE maths. Now everyone's been talking about this last question. I want you to take a quick look at this question because you know, I've been saying for a while that this theme of these questions, they've, they came up in one of the uh, last couple of years, one of the shade in this region. But I think this was harder than those questions, right? It was only four marks. Yeah, right? I, was, I was well I was surprised as well. I thought it'd be like five. But well, then four, five, well, more, the more difference. marks, the worse it gets. Yeah. Do you understand? So we don't really want it to have that many marks. But what do you, is this GCSE? Mm. Do you think this is GCSE? It is in a sense, in terms of the maths needed to solve the problem. Obviously, um, yes. But in terms of, and this is the last question, so they have to find, you know, something challenging when they look into a book. So especially for the uh, grade nine, the grade nine yeah, is yeah, yeah. yeah. They have to deserve that grade. Exactly. That, that's exactly. why I say. But I, I just felt like a lot of students, a lot of students I'm talking about, would give up on this question. This is like marks goodbye for them, all right? But the ones that do get it, they deserve a grade nine, definitely, definitely. definitely. Yeah, those of you who got this, you deserve your grade nine. Because look, I mean, it's just, there's nothing on that diagram, no measurements or anything. They have to work so much out. They have to know so many angle facts, it's quite, geometry quite, stuff. Quite, quite a few number of topics. Uh, when I did it, it, it use um, the triangles. Yeah, isosceles triangle. Yep, isosceles triangle. The, the um, equilateral triangle. Sectors, there. what's the sectors? I haven't done it myself. Sectors. So is in there. Um, what else did, did I use? Quite a number of traffic basically. Yeah? And they have to use all of that in one go. And I felt that it was quite a challenging question. So that one, let's take it out of the way. But what about this? A lot of people mentioned about this. Um, someone said geometric sequence was the hard one. Uh, the arithmetic sequence was okay. It should be all right. I mean, they're going to find the differences. If you get a linear equation, you get like a, a algebraic equation for the second one. Mm -hmm. As long as they know how to link them up. Yeah. So is this similar to like a level type question i would say because i'm noticing that trend what's this meaning i mean if, if you can answer these questions these students should really be doing gcse further maths as well or add maths or something because you know they are getting stretched I guess when, on gcse when, itself yeah because when people's in the higher sets when they go through content some of them are introduced to a level should be in yeah. if you haven't you know done so already what about the rest of the paper? Um, I think the rest of yeah, the paper, I think, was, yeah. personally, I, I liked it. I liked it. It was a great paper. I spoke paper. to a few of the students. They said in the, uh, the first few page, few pages work were nice and easy. So at least it gives them a boost, confident boost to, act, you know, to you know, get through the rest mm -hmm. of the paper. There was two um, compound interest type questions, the repeated change questions. Is this number 14 here? This is going backwards. The other one was going forward. Okay. So you're given an amount, it increases by this amount every year. Right, right, right. What's the end amount? So that's going forward. And this, this um, question here, number 10, Another ratio question. Yeah. Um, using algebra again, uh, but I think we're getting used to this now. So we've we, the teachers have been teaching this stuff to the kids, showing them the methods, yeah. and so think the thing is, when, when no one's screaming when about even, it. Even when it's numerical, it's like it's it's send the kids how why not that confident with algebra will find it difficult, but yeah. then. Not, there's not enough of there's just a numerical based question yeah. where you have to work out percentages and fractions and and ratios just applying it basically but without having to apply algebra now look i'm making this uh, judgment based on the last two papers paper two and paper three what i'm noticing you know the aqa theme where i've noticed on aqa papers some hard questions can come up really early and look at this number seven this uh, cylinder with the, the rates of change one that's yeah. number seven i mean that this is the thing is, are they're not business given the here. formula either because they have to work out with the volume yes normally the formulas are given and this well they have to know no, the cylinder. for a cylinder, yeah, for a yeah, cylinder yeah. they'd have to they'd know that but generally yeah. i thought the paper was nice what was the foundation like can we quickly have a look yeah. at that they haven't had the chance to look but, at it no, can we look at the last few questions oh my god they had this cylinder one as well. You're getting mad right now. What are they trying to do like, the foundation? Changing kids? the subject hasn't come up in the higher, but it's come up in the foundation one. Oh, uh, that's a nice, it's a, it's a quite decent one, all of the fractions yeah. uh, and everything that might give a problem. But I'm, I'm surprised that this number 28, they've got the cylinder one. I mean, what they do, because foundation to get that grade four and grade five already, like 60% and 75% or something for the grade five. Yeah, that's how much the, they need. For the tree we will, was nice and straightforward. I will be doing a separate video on the grade boundaries. So I know a lot of you guys will have loads of questions about whether the boundaries would go up or down can we just quickly just touch upon it but obviously i'll do a video on that was this a harder paper than 2023 because if it was a harder paper then we expect the grade boundaries to go down a little bit but if it was a better paper would the grade boundaries stay the think, same think, or they go I think, I think most of the questions that came up were slightly easier than last year they were they were but the harder ones were hard like compared to that for example the last question that you saw in today's paper um but majority were accessible, I would say. Um, but which is the first paper, I think most... Paper number one was difficult. Yeah. Paper number one. It's, it's non-calculator and, you know, just 
first is shock to the yeah, in the first exam. Perhaps. So was paper one, in your opinion, the hardest out of these three? Plus, it's also difficult to predict as well. So they may have looked at predicted papers and not enough. Now, the predicted papers, a lot of them uh, were quite good. I felt Especially for the good. obviously once the, once the paper has been done, yeah. then, then it's easier to three, plan. Yeah, it's it's very, plan. But I think paper so three, prediction for three lots was, of stuff. I, I mean, like, there was, was this one was, question. Was, was mostly spoiled. I mean, the question three. eighteen where they have to use the sign rule and the sign in rule. Yeah. That was something that was coming up a lot on some of these uh, previous Even like there's a question of bounds. Bounds was good. That's a good one. Box plots was box there. Yeah, and it's similar to the factor. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of that with my students, but. It's a good paper. I mean, well done to you guys for, you know, salute to you guys, as we always yeah. do every year. They deserve our yeah, salutations there. Yeah, yeah, well done to you guys. Uh, um, hard work paid off today. Any advice you want to give them for summer now? What can they do? I mean, Especially right those now, are looking to do A-level yeah, I mean, Right now, it's just to, to take a break. But at some point, start looking into uh, the bridging uh, courses or Definitely. topics for, like for not topics, to A-level. That's topics if you're, like if what? If you're considering to do A-level maths, I would say, um, especially quadratics comes up a lot. Um, algebraic fractions, completing the square. thirds, indices, all these tools you need to access higher higher maths. Absolutely. They, um, they, linear they, graphs, yeah. um, quadra quadratic graphs. And now also another thing, um, at GCSE with the circle, uh, equation of a circle, you're used to the, uh, the center. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a whole chapter on, on, <laughs> yeah, on, on so circles. So get really you know, comfortable with that, finding the equation of the tangent, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's something that you guys could be doing over the summer period. But get a rest for us, you deserve it. And um, this Friday, they've got the final exam, I think, for biology physics. or physics or something like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. But after that, guys, you know, we'll see you guys next year, especially you guys in year 10. We're going to be supporting you all the way. Um, I know you've been really busy this yeah, year, and so I have. So I have I. Uh, maybe you could do some A-level content for them as well to get them through. Yeah, yeah. is that good? Yeah? yeah. All right, until the next one, guys. Goodbye for now. Right, take care.